So let me uh, answer this question before we get to uh, the formula for miracles with Brent. So my client said to me, Constance, because I posted something on reprogramming your subconscious. So she said, how do you reprogram your subconscious? So let me, I'm going to just break it down and give you an example. You guys got to remember, I come from a Christian background. I'm more spiritual now. I understand the science behind a spirituality and the Bible. So I'm going to give you just, just my two-sided story of reprogramming my subconscious and transforming my mind. The Bible says, be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. We know that the subconscious is most changed by repetition. And that's why the Bible says, be transformed by the renewing. That is a verb. So from the Christian perspective, I believe that Jesus completed everything. It's called the finished works of Christ. It is done that God has, had our, has already given me all things that pertain to life and godliness. In the quantum field, the quantum field says creation is finished. You're not really trying to create anything. You are just tapping into the unlimited possibilities. And when you focus on, put your attention on, behold, dwell on, and believe on, one possibility, it becomes a probability and collapses as matter into your life. That's profound, y'all. But this is what I feel like I do that I didn't know at first. So you decide what you want. And I'm just going to use money and abundance because you guys know that I struggled with money a couple of decades ago. I filed bankruptcy. Y'all know the whole story. Uh, that I went through tons of money. So the first thing I think you need to do is get clear about what you want and then spend some time embracing, embodying, and conceiving the truth that you want to manifest. So since I wanted to manifest wealth before I even reprogram my, my, my subconscious or transfer my mind, I, I began to think about, like, these are some things I thought about. Jesus became poor that I might become wealthy. Wealth is my divine uh, birthright. God has already given me all things that pertain to life and godliness. My supply is endless, inexhaustible, and immediate. So can y'all see that? And so I, I gave thanks that millions would uh, come into my life because it was my divine right. So I spent time doing that. And that's the beginning of the reprogramming process. You, you begin to think about it and replace that old truth with the new truth. So in the, in the Christian world, they call it soaking. In the quantum world, they call it getting uh, into that theta state or that theta vibration. Y'all know the, uh, soaking just simply means that you are listening to really inspirational, uh, spiritual, anointed music, and you see yourself already having being and doing the thing that you desire. The theta state simply means that you can go on YouTube and listen to anything uh, that gets you in that relaxed state. Some people just breathe in and out 10 to 20 times. We know that theta state is just before you fall asleep at night uh, and, and just when you wake up in the morning. Because consciously, you may want something, but we know that it is your subconscious mind that needs to be reprogrammed. So what I would do would be after I had really just thought about these different the areas of money and wealth and wealth is my divine birthright, I would twice a day, I would begin to feel and imagine a scene 
of me being in, in a state of abundance. Now, at first it was difficult for me. So I, I, I would go in like this, Lord, thank you, God, that you've already given me all things. Thank you that wealth is my divine birthright. Thank you that I have all of the wisdom for witty inventions. You see what I'm doing? I'm going in because since I have spent so much time already meditating on and conceiving the truth about wealth and abundance in my life, I, I really believe that is true. So I go in and, and I begin to think feel and imagine one scene and I'm going to use one. I'm going to use the Ritz card. And you guys remember the story? I went there, didn't have any money. I had enough for a cup of tea and valet parking. But I would imagine myself driving to the Ritz card and in my Mercedes, them opening the door. Hello, Miss Arnold. Me walking up to the clerk, handing my credit card, not even thinking about money that the bellman is taking my baggage upstairs. And of course, when you walk in the Ritz cart then they already have this special music playing. If you know anything about the bears in the Ritz Carton, oh, they, they are just so wonderful. And, and I saw myself just falling on the bed. Now, just before I had the money to go there and just saying, oh my goodness, it felt so good. I saw myself getting dressed and, you know, at the Ritz Carton, if, if anybody sees you, the first thing they're going to ask you is, can I help you now? And, and I saw me getting on the elevator and going downstairs for dinner. And oh my goodness, that dining room is so beautiful. It was a Friday night and every Friday night, see, I'm feeling this and imagining it. And I am reprogramming my subconscious mind because imagination is more powerful than knowledge. I'm putting myself in the state so I did this both in the theta state in the morning and the evening, but then I, I would soak, I would put on worship music and I would say, oh God, thank you for abundance. Thank you that I have more than enough. And then I would use specific scenes like the one I'm sharing with you that really put me in the state of I have it now. I saw myself going to dinner and, and I had uh, uh, looked at the uh, dining room uh, on the Internet and just impeccable service. They, um, the Ritz Carlton has, 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 has won this great uh, service award. It's, it's like the number one award that you get for customer service. And then I saw myself dancing the night away with my partner uh, because every Friday night they had jazz night at the Ritz Carton in Buckhead. So you see what I did? I did that every day. I would choose one scene and live it from the end when I was either soaking or in the state of theta state. And that's how you re repro that's how I reprogram my subconscious. I planted it with new thoughts. I embraced it. I embodied it, embodied it. I conceived of it. I gave birth to it. I came became pregnant with that truth then I begin to soak in it. I begin to feel it. I begin to imagine it and know that it's already true and already mine. I did that for my career. I did that for love. I did that for my health. I did that for speaking engagements and for everything. I realize I need to teach uh, 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 an entire show on this, but that is my process, process right now. I'm believing for some things, and that is what I'm doing. Before I go to bed tonight, I will spend, uh, and this is how much time I spend, maybe five minutes, feeling I already have it now. Creation is finished. You're not trying to create anything. You're just aligning your imagination, your beliefs, uh, your emotions, your feelings. 
that it is mine now. All right, everybody, if you're interested in coaching with me, you should. I'm a master coach for almost 30 years coaching on five continents. Uh, email me at constance at fulfillingyourpurpose.com. And remember to visit my website, fulfillingyourpurpose.com. All right, everybody, uh, let's uh, 